Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about what is Delta Table. After the launch of Microsoft Fabric, uh, most people are confused about what is Parquet file and what is a Delta file, what is a Delta Table in Microsoft Fabric. So we are going to discuss all in detail about this in this video. Before going into that, if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So as I also made a separate video on Microsoft Fabric, but before do that, I just want to go you through an introduction about that. So Fabric is an end-to-end -end analytics platform that provides a single integrated environment for data professionals and business to collaborate on data project. So it contains data factory, data engineering, data warehouse, data science, data analytics, and Power BI as well. So these things comes around like in short data factory, Synapse, and Power BI. And everything it stores the data into unified data foundation of one leg, which is backed by Azure Data Lake storage. And for all these things, the data security is backed by Microsoft Purview. So tables in a Microsoft Fabric Lake House are based on Linux Foundation Delta Lake table format, commonly used in Apache Spark. Delta Lake is an open source storage layer that adds relational database semantics to Spark based data lake processing. Tables in Microsoft Fabric Lake House are Delta Tables, which is signified by triangular Delta icon on tables in the Lake House user interface. If you see it here, you can see it small triangle here. So that refers to Delta Table. Delta Tables are schema abstraction over data files that are stored in Delta format. For each Delta Table, the Lake House stores a folder containing parquet data file and a delta log folder in which transaction details are logged in JSON format. If you see it on the image, this is basically the table and inside of that what we see the list of parquet files and a folder and folder which is underscore delta underscore log and this contains all the transaction details about these files. So that is actually how it is stores. What are the benefits of using delta tables? Relational tables that suppose querying and data modifications. With Apache Spark, you can store data in Delta tables that support CRUD, so create, read, update, and delete operations. In other words, you can select, insert, update, and delete rows of the data in the same way you would do in relational database system. That's amazing, right? And also it supports for acid transactions. So if you are aware of relational databases or designed to support transaction mod data modification that provide atomicity, Transactions complete as a single unit of work. Consistency, transactions leave the database in a consistent state. Isolation, in process transactions can't interfere with one another. And durability, when the transaction completes, the changes it made are persisted. So Delta Lake brings the same transactional support to Spark by implementing a transaction log and enforcing serializable isolation for concurrent operations. So data versioning and time travel because all transactions are logged in the transaction log you can track multiple versions of each table row and even use the time travel feature to retrieve a previous version of your row in a query and also support for batch and streaming data so while most relational databases include tables that store static data spark includes native support for streaming data through spark structured streaming api Delta Lake tables can be used as both sync, destination, and source for streaming data. Standard format interoperability. The underlying data for Delta tables is stored in parquet format. This is important thing, which is commonly used in Data Lake ingestion pipelines. Additionally, you can use SQL endpoints for the Microsoft Fabric Lakehouse to query Delta tables in SQL. So these are the benefit of using Delta tables in Microsoft Fabric. If you like this video, just hit the big thumbs up button. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure to turn on the notification on your devices. Share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any queries and feedback, just post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Keep learning. See you in the next video.